welcome to our review on more nuclear power. So we've already looked at nuclear power going back to our core science, but just to recap on how it actually works. Basically what we've got inside the nuclear reactor is a way of generating a large amount of heat, and that heat is going to turn cold water into the steam. As soon as we've generated steam, then that goes off to turn a turbine, the turbines turn the generators, and the generators generate the electricity. Now, no matter what power station we're talking about, it's good to bear in mind that the last three steps are always the same. The only difference is how we actually generate the heat to change water into steam. Otherwise, the steam drives the turbines, the turbines turn the generators, and the generators generate the electricity. The name of the process that's going on inside our nuclear reactor then is nuclear fission, which is the splitting of atoms. Now do go careful with learning the actual proper spelling of fission there because it's very easy to confuse with another process we're going to look at in a couple of lessons time. Now nuclear fission occurs inside all nuclear reactors and it's going to release quite large amounts of energy in the form of heat. Inside the nuclear reactor then we're going to use one of two main fuels either uranium-235 or plutonium-239 because they're both what's called a fissionable substance. So what we're actually going to do to start off this whole reaction is to fire a neutron at the nucleus where it then becomes absorbed. What then happens is it makes it unstable, that nucleus is going to split into two smaller nuclei and as it does so it releases two or three extra neutrons. A few key facts we need to remember about nuclear power then. First one that they like to ask occasionally for a simple one marker is that the fuel is uranium. Second one is that our nuclear reactors will generate radioactive waste. And if we think back to what we did in our core science, we will generate high level waste, which is encased in glass and buried deep underground away from water sources. Or we make low level waste, which is able to be buried in a landfill. The other side to this is that when we come to the end of our nuclear power plant's life, then we need to go through a process called decommissioning. And this is a very expensive process because we've got all that radioactive waste material that's produced in that fission reaction that has to be processed and dealt with properly. So what we find is that when it comes to decommissioning a nuclear power plant, it's expensive and it's very time consuming. We use nuclear reactors not only to generate electricity in power plants, but also in submarines and aircraft carriers. So it's a good idea just to remember that these aren't just ways of generating electricity on the mainland, but also to generate electricity to power entire vessels like our submarines.